Welcome to Weekend Design. On this week's episode, we head outdoors with Mandarin artist Bart Van Mischler, who shows us how to make flies for fishing. So the materials that you'll need for this are a piece of mylar piping. How we're going to use it is uh, as the body material to imitate the scales of a fish's body. Uh, obviously a hook. You want a hook with a longer shank to give you a little bit more of that fish feel. This is called flashaboo, which is a, a plastic material that obviously has tremendous light refracting and reflecting properties. It's wonderful underwater as well. This is called a bobbin, and if you buy a kit, it will come in there. This is unique to fly tying. They're not used for any other purpose. This obviously is a pair of scissors, but this is where the money is. The most important aspect of tying flies is to be able to accurately shape them. And the only thing that will let you do that is an extraordinarily good, sharp pair of scissors. Not cheap, but worth the money. You'll also need aluminized tape. This can get wet. Uh, the glue is fantastic and virtually never dries out. This will allow it to stay on the hook. Uh, rather, because this is what builds the body of the fly. Putting the hook in is step one. In this case, we're, we're just dealing with this aspect of the hook, just the shank, and then putting on the, uh, the uh, aluminized uh, tape is step two. Just double it over, and then we simply take the scissors and cut, and again, we're just trying to make the general shape of a fish and we need to go. Step three is cutting the mylar tubing and as you can see there's a center material that you pull out. This is nice polyester material actually. And then we have left this tube of braided plastic material and that's what's going to form the look of scales. So now we're going to attach the thread, and that's simply done by going over, around, doing a little twist, moving this to the other side to lock it solidly in place, because this is what keeps all of the materials on the fly, ultimately. At the end here, we're going to tie some more thread. It's a little harder to do at the end of the hook than it is at the head, but nonetheless, it will it'll become easier. And then we retie the thread here because we're going to now put in the last element, which is the flashaboo. The instinct is to tie in a lot of material, but fish are actually attracted to less material. So use less. If, if, if you think something is enough, uh, reduce it a bit more. And may actually just throw a couple of loops back here to make this stand up a bit. And then again, we're just whip finishing, and that's it and you pull it tight and the, if it's done right the string the thread will break off and now you have now you can open the flashaboo a bit I like to just use a, a tweezer to kind of separate everything out and you have something that a fish might actually consider having a munch on what I really do enjoy about it of late is the improvisational aspect. I, I approach a fly these days the same way I, uh, I do uh, an abstract or expressionist painting. Art is the process of making whatever it is that you're doing. Anybody who does something with total conviction 
and with total absorption is in my view an artist and few people have the what they would call the luxury of self-assessment this makes it go away and that's it et voila thanks bart for more weekend design continue to check jacksonville.com for jacksonville.com i'm amanda warford